coming up on the last ramen, the soup for college students of 2010, what senior Asian correspondent shows you the holiday gadgets to gift? Plus, an exclusive in-depth interview with a well-renowned model slash actress, and not the other way around. But first, this is the final episode of the season. Will Jordan finally find a celebrity? Spoiler, nope. But we did find a former vice presidential nominee. All that and more coming up on The Ramen, the soup for college students. Welcome to the final ramen. The soup for college students. I'm Kayla Carey. And I'm Ben Wallace. And we're here for the final time this semester to fulfill all of your entertainment news needs. And a little more, if you know what I mean. But uh, these fireworks are just distracting. Agreed. They've got to go, Ben. That's better. We can celebrate more later. So hey, Ben, did you know that people in this country are sometimes persecuted because of AIDS? Gee whiz, no, Case Square. That's terrible, though. Yeah. Um, good thing today is AIDS Awareness Day. Yeah, you're right. Now I'm aware of AIDS. And in honor of AIDS Awareness Day, here's a clip to commemorate this special day. I have AIDS. I was diagnosed with AIDS eight months ago during a bout with pneumonia. Am I being fired? Would you accept a client if you were constantly thinking, I don't want this person to touch me. I have a case. I don't want him to even breathe on me. If you don't want it for personal reasons. Thank you, that's correct, I don't. That's very disappointing. I didn't raise my kids to sit in the back of the bus. I just want what is fair, what is right. Did you fire Andrew Beckett because he had AIDS? Are you gay? Objection! Andy brought AIDS into our offices. Wow, that video really shook me to the core. Yeah, but poor Tom Hanks. But on a serious note, the Ramen is proud to support the global fight against AIDS. If you would like to find out more information on World AIDS Day, general facts on the disease, or would like to donate to help find a cure, visit avert.org. On a lighter note, entertainment extraordinaire Jordan Walden is still looking for celebrities. I wonder if he'll find some this time, Ben. Yeah, that's likely. <laughs> Go figure. No celebrities yet. Back to you, Ben. Go figure. Well, Jordan may not have found any celebs, but Sarah Palin was at Books A Million yesterday. So we sent our in-house paparazzi, J.C. Toll, out to stalk her. When I arrived on the scene, they were calling out number 497, and it was only 40 minutes into the signing. I guess that's another thing you can put on her remarkable resume, Sarah Palin, speed book signer. She got poised, and she, did, she picked that two-second split there, and she made it personal. Ah, She's very class. The most important rule of this book signing is do not cross that line. You will get yelled at, and they might have to tackle you down. Uh, so, I, I got laid out today. I really advise anyone, when they say don't cross lines, don't cross lines. It doesn't matter if you are 18 years old and 115 pounds, they are going to lay you out. I hope. I'm okay. I am going to go to the hospital later and make sure I don't have any broken ribs. Meeting Sarah Palin? That's was she awesome. She was so sweet. That's uh, fun. It she was wearing her it. cute clothes. And yeah, she's really tiny. Like, really? she's got a little, like outfit on with the American flags everywhere. She was all patriotic. It was cute. <laughs> Did she sound like Tina Fey Petrator? Yeah. <laughs> she, it was just like she was on the television. Like it was surreal meeting her. It was cool. Nice. 
We found the actual Sarah Palin. She just walked right out. It wasn't her. There she is, there she is, there she is. What up? Yes, I'm watching her right now. She's getting in the side car. She's in the first car. Got her. Whoa! Sarah Palin in Baton Rouge? That's amazing. Yeah, she's no Paris Hilton, but that's still pretty cool. Whatever, Ben. She's awesome. <laughs> but I digress. With the holiday season upon us, you may be wondering what gifts to get for friends and family. I know I am. See, senior Asian correspondent Anthony Wynn, did you catch that reference in the opening teases? Being foreign and all would tell you the gadgets make the best gifts. Okay, um, so what did you buy over the weekend? I bought some super cute $15 boots and these awesome leggings I'm wearing right now. I went out and got a lot of clothes. I bought a lot of jackets. A lot of polo jackets, like with the fur and the hood. While many people already got their Christmas shopping out of the way during the Black Friday extravaganza, some lazy people will wait to the last minute to buy some presents. Here are some perfect gift ideas for you lazy people. Many people get frustrated when they cannot find the remote. Where is the remote? Where is it? Introducing the L5 remote. What is that, you ask? Well, this little device turns any iPod or iPhone or iPad into a universal remote. And one more thing, no batteries or Wi-Fi needed. Cleaning and vacuuming? What does that even mean? That word doesn't exist in the dictionary of a lazy person. That's why we left the iRobot Roomba 570 do our vacuuming for us. Our robotic friend has the ability to cover up to four rooms. And finally, are you too lazy to cook? Well, grab a George Foreman and he will do all the cooking for you. Just put anything on there like ham, a sandwich, a corn dog, and maybe some ramen. And it will be nice and brown and crispy. For Tiger TV's The Ramen, this has been Anthony Nguyen, wishing you a happy holiday. An iPhone can be a remote control now? What will those Asians think of next? <laughs>